All right, my name is Paul Vermesh, I live in Victoria. I wanna encourage us today to think for ourselves. You know, the, if we don't think for ourselves, somebody else is gonna do the thinking for us. And I just wanna walk through today some of the things that I thought, boy, it seems to me that maybe the media is biasing their th things so that they're actually trying to manipulate our thinking. Now, here's the day today. It is January 28th, 2022. And here's the news articles for today. I actually can. I actually wanted to Google how many trucks are in the convoy making the way across Canada, and I don't mean for this to be a political boast. Again, I think the outcome is to think for ourselves, and I want to demonstrate how media, if we don't think, is going to manipulate it. So I googled how many trucks are in the convoy across Canada. Here's the first hit. The first hit I got was CBC. Truckers Freedom Rally passes through Windsor, but it was from four days ago. The next hit was actually the Star, another media one. The third hit was the global news from two days ago, which the headline states, fringe minority in truck convoy with unacceptable views. You know, I didn't Google any of this. I wanted to find out how many trucks, but obviously somebody is putting on what comes up first on Google, and it seemed to be pretty biased to me. So then my brain went to, I wonder if the news channels are actually reporting what's going on across Canada. It would seem natural that if something big was going on and there's been, I think it was $6 million raised, that this would actually be within the news. So here is CBC today on Friday, January 28th, as the truckers are beginning to roll in Ottawa, here's the headline. Health minister says vaccines are not the enemy as protest convoy descends on Ottawa. You know, nothing about the convoy. I have the health minister's perspective on what's going on. Strange. So then I thought, well, let's go to CTV news and see what they say. Here's the breaking news for CTV News today. It's kind of funny to me, actually. The breaking news today is reported cases today are 8,937 COVID cases. That is the front and center most important thing they want us to see. I think we've been seeing that for two years. <laughs> Interesting. Here's the other one. Here's the headline. Large clouds, uh, lar expect large police presence in downtown Ottawa as truckers dis convey upon uh, the convoy arrives. So here it is, they're coming into Ottawa. Instead of reporting about the convoy again, we're getting Ottawa's perspective on how they're going to manage it. And then on the side, here's another one. Interesting, maybe biased again, maybe not. You have to think for yourself to determine this. Embarrassment for the industry. Not all truckers support the Freedom Convoy. That's probably too. Not everybody will support it, but there is something going on, all of which was not reported. Now, isn't that fascinating that when we start looking at the news headlines for today, that instead of getting the very question I asked, I'm getting perspectives. And that to me is actually disturbing. And it goes back actually to the purpose of this. If you don't think for yourself, somebody else is going to do the thinking for you. And it's going to put us at risk within our nation. You know, I work with companies and we help build team. And one of the ways to build team is actually clear communication. And I am a believer that if we have good communication in proper channels, people will make the wise decision. But if our channels become convoluted or confusing, or we don't get the right information, it creates distrust, be it in organizations, be it in governments, or be it in our nation. And therein lies the concern. So when I put this out, I wanted to show on media and the facts that you can research it yourself. And you can determine what you would like to be believing and thinking. We all have that choice, but please do your own thinking. Don't let somebody else do the thinking for you. You know, if we rely on a few people to think for us, it puts us at risk. But if we can actually use the collective intelligence of all of us and give people the right information, we actually could probably get smarter when we move together, move ahead together. And therein lies my concern. And so thank you for letting me lay this out. If you find this video encouraging and you think others need to hear this message that we need to learn to think for ourselves and maybe maybe now more than ever, please repost it because I don't know if this message is being out as much. And if we don't have people looking at things from different perspective, media is gonna di dictate what they want us to believe and how they want us to respond and what they want us to do. And that's actually going to put us at risk and it's going to continue to divide us as a nation. So thanks for joining me. Best wishes on your day. And it's Paul Vermesh. I live in Victoria. Thank you for joining me and listening to this brief encouragement. Have a great day. Take care.